Now, Louise Small has joined us. It's time for the weather. I believe it's going to get a lot colder this week. It is, Rose. It's un already undeniably starting to feel slightly cooler. The weekend temperatures drop to minus 4.7 degrees Celsius Kitts Bridge, so it was quite a cool and chilly start on Saturday morning there. Over the next few days, we will see temperatures slowly but surely start to tumble as we bring in northerly airflow. Yes, indeed. Just looking at the plasma here, we have snow across the southeast that will start to track up over the next few days. There is a possibility of that snow arriving with us by Friday through some wintry showers. Whether or not it lies, it's more possibly just going to be quite a light dusting over the hills and higher ground. So I don't know whether you'll get out to build a snowman, Paul. And here's the forecast. So as you've been hearing, it will start to feel slightly cooler over the next couple of days. Today was fine and dry with just the odd shower. We'll see that theme continue on and off through the week, but it will, as I said, feel slightly cooler. And we do have the increased risk of a widespread frost through tonight. So looking at the pressure sequence, it's quite an unsettled picture. We had an area of low pressure sweep across us today. Through tomorrow, we have a northeasterly airflow. Temperatures with that will start to dip. We will be well below average for this time of year. So back to tonight, generally clear skies, one or two isolated showers continuing along the coast for a time. But under the clear skies later in the night, we will have a widespread frost forming. Temperatures dipping close to freezing or just below in the coldest rural spots. Today's winds will also ease off. Tomorrow then gets off to a very cold and frosty start. You may need to de-ice the car before you head off tomorrow morning. Brightening up into the afternoon with light winds, but with the temperatures, they will dip close to six or seven degrees Celsius. Across the rest of Ireland, it's a similar story, getting off to a frosty start, brightening up into the afternoon, staying generally fine and dry, but temperatures reaching highs around eight, possibly nine degrees Celsius with light winds. So looking ahead, Head through the rest of the week, fine and dry, bright spells, one or two isolated showers at times. But as we get closer to Friday, those showers may possibly turn wintry, especially over higher ground, with a slight chance of some hill snow. That's very latest. Have a lovely evening. Bye bye for now. Hello there. Good morning. A cold and frosty start for many of us. Some mist and fog lingering through, so do take care on the roads. Brightening up into the afternoon with light winds and highs of six or seven degrees Celsius.